Well, hello, folks. Welcome along to this uh, Tennis Manager 23 playthrough. I am the Custom Prophet, and we're back here at the US Open with Krusty Bun at uh, the Custard Tennis Academy. And uh, yeah, he's dropped a few positions down to 16th. And he, he's, we're coming back for the US Open today, and it's gone really poorly since we were last together in Wimbledon. After losing quite disappointingly in Wimbledon, we have we have not improved we have not improved at all i don't know what to do about it um we've basically gone through the entirety of the hard court season just really bad uh losing game after game after game i'll show you what i mean so here was the loss and uh, wimbledon against kyle kang in five sets it was a good match but we should be beating the 84th ranked player just didn't play particularly well there but then we look Played 46th ranked Pericard in the very next match, an ATP 250 event, lost in three sets, which was hugely disappointing. Got a few points out of that, but not good enough. And unfortunately, we have continued down that road, losing to Sebastian Corder, 25th in the world, in uh, the next match, which was, uh, I think that was, what was this, uh, ATP 1000 event. Uh, losing in the first round to 63rd ranked Rai Sakamoto in this ATP 500 event. Um, and it was only in the last couple of tournaments we've started to pick up victories, but still have lost in matches where I really felt we should have done better. In the uh, Rogers Open in Canada, beat Duck He Lee. Great name, 6'4", six, 6'4". Six, four, six, four. And popular in. I was happy with this one because this is certainly someone we've beaten in the past. Uh, and it sort of suggests we're going in the right direction. 7-6, uh, 4-6, uh, 6-2. But then lost to Sinner after that quite easily. We certainly feel like we are way, way worse than we were uh, about a year ago. We're really struggling. Um, in the West and the Southern Open, got through the first round against Ethan Quinn in three sets. It was a bit of a tough one. But then got smashed by Jakob Mensik. Um, in three sets and I say smashed because we only just squeaked the second set and then got smashed in the other two sets this guy we've never lost to we've played him five times not lost so it's a bit of a worry I don't know what to do about it we're in here in the US Open we are going to be playing JJ Wolf a player we've played before but he is relatively highly ranked I'm concerned we're going to go out in the first round so here is the draw that we've got uh, JJ Wolf in the first round, 43rd in the world. Um, if we get through that, we play Tracy Kuzuhara, both of whom are just, one's just outside the top 100, one's just inside. So you'd think we should get through that, and a winner of that plays Casper Rudd, probably, or Thomas Macek. I'm just not feeling confident. I'm not feeling confident in the slightest. So we're going to give it our best possible go, and we'll see how we do. So here we go. I'm going to just uh, set things up and we'll uh, we'll dive in. Okay, we've set things up. Let's see how we do. This is going to be tough. We, I'm hoping we are good enough to to give him a good game and and we can get through this first one. We're going to play two matches in today's. Oh, we've got through this first one. We were um, up and a double fault puts us gives us a, a very very early break, which we just haven't really done, and we got lucky there as well. Well, it's gone pretty well in this first set. We're 5-3 up, 15-40 up. We certainly... What I have noticed is that everyone else seems really good at playing those wide serves. We are not great at that. So, 30-40. Uh, Come on. Let's take this. Let's do him. Oh, that's bad. It's back to juice. Well, got through it relatively easy in the end. 40 love up, 5 4 up. Surely we've got this first set. And certainly, this, oh, that's lovely. 6 4, that feels a pretty solid first set. Never really looked in any trouble. More of the same, please, in set number two. Well, we've had advantages all over the place in the last game. Didn't manage to get one on his, um, on, on his serve. Um, but. Yeah, it's um, that doesn't make any sense, does it? <laughs> we we were we got it to advantage, but we didn't manage to make the most of it. Is basically what I'm trying to say. Another very poor one, and we're three one down, and we are a breakdown. So, got work to do here. 
4-2 uh, down, but we've got an advantage here. So can we get back? Another very nice serve. Struggling to uh, keep in this point. The wolf, as we call him. Doing well, but it would be nice just to get back on level terms if we could here. He's coming into the net. Oh, and again, struggling so much against the volleying uh, players who volley. It's, um, yeah, we're really not great. We've just about got away with that, and there we go. Well, 5 3 up, 5 3 down, and 30 40 up. So maybe a chance here, but again, we put it back, and it's those backhands. What is. I'm saying down the centre, aren't I? So the return, let's let's go down the line. For a volleyer, let's go down the line. Let's see how that works. Because we've had two or three break points here and we've not managed to get away with it. And again, just power, pace, and we are one set all. And this is what I was kind of worried about. It looks like he has turned things around. He looks the better player now. We are one all and he's got an opportunity here. But we've not seen much in this set at all. We've not really got many points in this set. 15-40 down and uh, we desperately need something to happen here. And into the net, 2-1. Oh dear, I love 40 down, or oh, 40 love down. And this is gonna be it, I think, for set number three. And we are pretty much out of, of the US Open unless we can change things around. That's a nice shot, but 15-40 down. It feels, or 40 15, that feels a long way out. Particularly at these guys who are at the net, and you just play it down the middle. It's not going to work, is it? 6 4. There must be a way to deal with these um, folks at the net. Let's go for the winner. Maybe go for the winner is what we need to do. It certainly made a difference. Uh, we're 2 1 up, 15 40 up. But again, that wide serve. And you've not seen us do it very often. Interesting, isn't it? Considering our serve is so good. But we got away with that. 3-1 up. And we are 5-3 up. 40-30 up. This is a chance to take it. I mean, that small tweak has given us a lifeline. But I, I feel we're still a long way away from winning this. I think this... I, I, I honestly think that he is probably the favourite at this point. Because we've just not been good enough. Let's have a look at the stats here. Um, certainly we dominated the points there but we have actually got slightly more points than him interesting enough let's see what happens in this set because we just feel really just don't feel good enough and frustratingly we're 15 40 down we've been quite good we have been quite good we've got to um, 30 on both of his serves but not managed to get any further than that and he's not really done much on our serve up until this one and into the net we go, and yet another mistake. So I don't know what to make of it, but maybe there's still hope if we carry on in the way we've been doing. 15, uh, love, 15 love down there, 4-2 down. Oh, it looks like it's done. And unfortunately, folks, we are out of the US Open. And I don't really know what to do about it. If you've got any advice, any thoughts, uh, leave them in the comments but my worry is that this whole save is going to fizzle out because I just don't this kind of happened in the previous one where I kind of got to a point and I just wasn't able to take them any further and this feels like it's happened again but we're going backwards it feels we are going backwards and this is what it's been like we just don't look at the races we change things up doesn't seem to make a difference so yeah let me know what you want to do with this save because I'm I don't know I don't know I can carry it on but it just feels like every single time we play, it's it's just not working. And I don't, I've no idea to, how to put it right. Um, we are dropping like a stone, unfortunately. And we're only 20. But it just feels like we're we, whoever we come up against, we just we just don't have a don't have a clue, don't have a hope. And when we get close in a game, we don't have the mental capacity to sort of push through. Uh, and it seems like m many other of the players do. And I can't seem to make the most of those wide serves either. I've tried doing it less, doing it more, going hard on the wide serves, going or, or but taking more risk. And whatever I've done, it doesn't seem to make too much of a difference. So, yeah, I'm a bit, a bit lost, really, because I don't really know how to uh, improve this from here. But 
Uh, we will see what comes next. I think, unfortunately, that is the last big tournament of this uh, of this um, year. Um, so we'll be moving on to, I think the. Well, I haven't actually sorted anything out there, but um, we'll be we'll be moving on to the uh, the next thing. One of the things I have done, I'm now the uh, the Davis Cup manager. So we could come back and actually uh, see us um, in the uh, in the Davis Cup finals. Well, we will see, folks. I need to sort out some tournaments, though. Um, if you're interested in what's happened with Billy Blades, you don't need to be interested. He's had a serious injury, and he's done absolutely nothing since we were last together. Mark Saban, on the other hand, he has done all right. 179th, but, um, yeah, he, he he's certainly going in the right direction. Um, Billy Blades, unfortunately, is going in the wrong direction, and he's just not fit, unfortunately. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. Give me some thoughts in the comments on what you want to see with this save. I'm considering thinking maybe leaving this season. If we don't pick things up in the next part of the season, just saying that's as far as we've got. We almost got top 10, just not quite. Let me know. Anyway, folks, see you in the next one. Goodbye.